Good day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dyna will be trying out software included in Office 95 such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Access, as well as a few others. Will she be able to use all these programs correctly or will she stumble upon an Easter egg instead? Keep watching to find out. Okay, so here you are on the desktop of Windows 95 and Office 95 has just been installed. Do you know what version of Office you use? 2000 and something, wouldn't it? <laughs> 2000 and something. There's a lot of Offices made in 2000. You at the moment use Office 2013. Okay. The latest version is 2016 and a version coming out in just a few months from now is Office 2019. This is Word 95. We're going to go through each of the programs in Office. What's new in Word 95? You've got the Answer Wizard, Automatic Border, automatic text correction, automatic headings, automatic... Everything really Everything automatic. is automatic. Yeah, and you can use Word as an email editor so as well So what now. was it before? Manual or something? Well, you know Manual what? Maybe we will try out an older version of Office one day. So your first task is can you change the small toolbar buttons to large buttons. So we're not starting typing yet. I just want you to change oh. the layout here. So all of these are tiny little yeah, buttons at yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make them large buttons. Okay, well, what I'll do is options. Well, macro to me is larger. Macro is like when you make automated oh. type things. It's like you record a macro. Oh. I thought micro, small, macro, large. Anyway, if I go there, if I minimize, oh, wait a second. The no. document's been minimized now. I don't want the document. The document's there at the bottom. It's like the piece of paper has been scrunched yeah, yeah, up and yeah. put in the the corner. Okay. Now you've unscrunched the paper and here it is. <laughs> so I'll give you a clue here. Go to view. View is your clue. Page layout. Maybe it's header and footer because it's a header. Oh no, that's not it. How do I get rid of the <laughs> header now? Let's just do a new document. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Now, funnily enough, you're now on the page view, which was actually part of your second task for Word. So, see how it's, you can actually see the page now? Yeah. As opposed to it just being white and like, what? Since you're here, can you make this page view 200%? You still haven't done the buttons thing yet, but can you make the page view 200%? It's currently at 100%. Can you make it at 200% so it kind of fits oh, the screen a bit better? Oh, yeah, I can. 200%. Great, you you've done that part of the page view. Yep. Now, <laughs> we still have not done the correct part. Though. So I'm going to go to view. I'm going to go to toolbars. Ah, so at the moment it's standard. Oh, wait a sec. Large buttons. Ah, large buttons. Okay, that'll do. The buttons are much are large. larger and there's a lot of wasted space at the side of the screen. See how there's all that grey space there? Yeah. Let's say you wanted to move this normal new time through and let's say you wanted to move it up so it's well, only I'm taking up one bar. I can grab that and just move it. There. Yep, fantastic. Now Perfect. you've got a very, very big area to start typing and you're on to the third task now. Write a document that has a bold, underlined and centred title and a few random paragraphs with different fonts and text sizes with the topic being Donald Trump. No. <laughs> what? Oh, wait a sec. Being able to actually spell his name is very important. And who's it by? <laughs> by me. Yeah. Okay. Now that has got to be centred. Okay, I do know how to center. Um, That's increasing in. Oh no 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 no. Center. There you go. You've got the alignment. And I want to bold it. It's got to be bold yes. and underlined. Bold and beautiful. Underlined there. Just to make this look a little bit more fancy, where it says "by me," can you put that down on the next line so it's kind of under it and have it in italic? Done. Now I'm going to ch even change the font altogether. Yeah. Wow. It's called white. Yeah, well that's <laughs> there it. There we go. And can you make its font a little bit bigger? So it's currently so, at size 10 and you're changing it to 18. There you go. Yes. The fact that the it word trumpet is on big. the bottom line, it annoys me. No, it doesn't <laughs> annoy me. Okay. So now because you're going back to normal typing about Donald Trump, simply have it in a normal paragraph. It doesn't have to be centered now. Are you finding this easy? Yeah, using it is. This? Yeah. So Once you even get though head. you're an Office 2013 user, this is pretty easy. Yeah. So now I just want you to write everything you know about Donald Trump. Like let's say there's somebody in the world who has no idea what Donald Trump is 
is, what is he, why is he, and do people like what he is? Half would, half wouldn't. I mean, <laughs> do they have presidents or prime ministers there? What is Donald Trump? What is Donald Trump? Okay, check it out. He's the 45th president the of president, the United they States. Have so they call it presidents, presidents okay. there, okay. The USA. Now let's say you want to correct <laughs> that. Let's say you want to correct okay, that. Okay, you, how put, would you, correct you it? right click. I don't know how that happened. It's because you are using a bit of a funny keyboard, yeah. so you're probably not used to it. No, I'm not used to that keyboard. <laughs> okay, you either love or hate him. And that's everything you know about Donald Trump. There's other things too. I mean, he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm assuming he is. I haven't looked. He's a man. Well, you've got to say that you're assuming, yep. He's, He's a, man. a man, or at least I think he is. How do you feel about him? In the beginning, I thought he was pretty vile, actually. There are a lot that do like him. Well, actually, in the USA, when they had to vote, for more her. people voted for Hillary Clinton. Yeah. So more people voted for her, but because of the way they divided the votes up, even though he got less votes, because of the regions it or something in America. It just seems so unfair. I know. I mean, <laughs> let's just say if I was in America, I would have voted for Hillary myself. Okay. So how do you feel about Word? Yeah, it's fine. It's Right. I mean, how can you make Word different without making it a word document you know what i mean i mean well you can add extra you know? feature let me just see i don't know if they have the automatic you want to find a word similar to speech. a similar to word thing so like, you want a thesaurus that's right that word that i just can't say <laughs> let's say certainly you could probably access it from up here like yeah, yeah. there it is yeah no, and thesaurus, you can yeah. do that kind of thing yeah certainly you can have hey hey hey, hey. let's change let's do it he just... positively speaks his mind no, let, let me do a um thesaurus change for him. all of these or... to make this sound a lot no different. no gonna... come let's on. do it come on because come otherwise on. word is a bit of a boring thing otherwise so let's have a look let's make this sound funny so thesaurus hate disgust him aversion him, antipathy him him rancor i've never heard of that before so rancor him <laughs> yes. you either love him okay or let's find him. another one for love you either attachment you either <laughs> affection you either passion him or really rancor good. him no no i want to use this you either tenderness him. I feel the. I'm going to say tenderness. I feel the thesaurus. I feel the. I feel the thesaurus. I can't. Okay, say that what's word. another word? For but me? I feel. I feel this has improved in the future for some reason. This thesaurus. thesaurus. See. Okay. Okay. A oh, she. <laughs> Well, he could cha he could decide that he didn't want to be a he anymore. The person so in becomes... question. The okay, person in the question person... positively speaks his mind, and you either Close. tenderness him or <laughs> rank on him. Okay, let's find another word for Donald. No, now. it's got to be about Donald Trump. I, well, it is. I'm just finding a better word for Donald. That's all. There is oh, no better word for donate. Donald. No, Trump. No, nothing. Trump. <laughs> okay, is. Let's... Donald Trump is a short while ago. No, recently is newly. Is lately is he's freshly. freshly. <laughs> Freshly. <laughs> Donald Trump is freshly. He's freshly the, the now no, let's see. No, not president because he, that's an actual title. Yeah, well, let's just see what the, what else the thesaurus has to say. He's the chief executive. He's the chief. He's the director. The, he's the chair. No, I want to say he's the chair. What about the ruler? The ruler of the <laughs> The USA. ruler. Okay, that'll do. Ruler. <laughs> speaks his sense. His understand. His memory. His, no, he speaks his intellect. Okay. Is he that intelligent? Well, he thinks he is. And you either tenderness him, him or, or rankle, rankle him. him. He's a man. Okay, let's see. A different word for man. He's Neither. a human being, humankind, mankind, humanity, mo populace, race, folk. He's a folk. He's a what? mortal. What about a mortal? He's a mortal, or that's what he looks like. Unless he's an alien, you know what I mean? Humankind. Oh, humankind. No, but that, that's a group of people, humankind. <laughs> Mankind. He's only mortal. one person. He's just a mortal. He's a populist. A mortal. I'm just going to say populist. Or at least <laughs> that's what he... He's <laughs> like populist. <laughs> at least that's what he shape like. <laughs> there we go. Bit, bit more of a correction. Maybe. Okay, there we go. I wonder if the newest version would have... <laughs> I wonder if the newest version would have actually picked up on the grammar not being right oh, and yeah. corrected that. Yeah, possibly. So possibly. that's probably, yeah. Okay. So there we go. That was Word. Time to move on to no, Excel. No, 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 no. Just one little thing. No, there's no other word apparently Donald for blows. Trump, Trump blow. <laughs> blows. <laughs> He's Donald Trump blows. <laughs> Full stop. No, blows. Up. There we go. Can we just have peace for once? Anyway. But that would 
cause a lot of peace, I think. So. <laughs> okay. Let's let's get out of let's get out of word before it becomes too wordy and move on to Excel. What's new in Excel ninety five? Auto calculate, auto complete, auto correct, auto filter, data map, all this stuff. It makes you just think, geez, if all this is new in Excel ninety five, there's been so many versions of Office released since then. Mm. How many more new things could it have? Exactly. Um, just to start it off, I'm just going to quickly change the toolbars to the you know larger ones just so it's easier for the audience to see and everything. There's actually a hidden feature in Excel. We won't be able to check it out here, but just have a little go. I want you to go down to the 95th column. The 95th row, I mean. Go down to the 95th yep, row. Sure. Yep, so you've clicked on the 95th row. Now can you press tab? So go to help, about Excel. Now put your cursor on tech support, but don't click it. Now hold down control alt shift and click on that tech support button while you do it. And click yep. down as well. Yep. Now this opens up a hidden game called The Hall of Tortured Souls. Which that is, sounds awful. Which no was, wonder it's hidden. It <laughs> should be hidden forever. Now, The Hall awful. of Tortured Souls was included in Microsoft Excel as a hidden feature. And what it actually is, which we unfortunately can't properly check out, is you can walk through it, but for some reason I can't see it. It's, it's like... But who would even randomly do... You wouldn't even do that by accident. That's <laughs> Pressing like four things all at once. How would you even do that? All by that accident? stuff. Yeah, you got to go to the ninety fifth. Very row, well hidden. Stuff. Very isn't well it? hidden. Yeah. And anyway, it has all the names. How did you even find it? Because it's a well known thing. But it's how got... could it be well known <laughs> if it's so hidden? Because somebody leaked it. Anyway, it's it's basically you walk around a little three D world and it's got all the names of the developers who made it. Really? The Hall of Tortured Souls. So it's got all the people who spend all their time torturing away at making Excel. Well, if they didn't want to make it, they didn't have to find a different. It's not that they were like that. They got paid to make it so they obviously made it but so they're not really tortured they're paid <laughs> all of paid souls <laughs> come on that's enough of the tortured souls now that was just no not bigger <laughs> two tortured souls <laughs> two halls of to tortured souls okay so your goal now but can i go through that thing no, it's, it doesn't work properly, but oh. it, you actually also type in Excel. Got me all excited all for weird, a second. No, you do all this stuff in it, and then you actually open up a secret passage in that 3D thing, and you see photos of all the people who made it. Okay, all these weird things. But Is anyway, that meant to be scary? I no. Mean, are they scary? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now in Excel, can you change the zoom level to 150%? Yeah, of course I can. Okay. Oh. This is where it gets hard. Ah, how do you know think you selection? do it? No, that's 400%. I did it to 400. I know what I do. I just simply go over it and 150, enter. Did it. Congratulations. Good. That was a trick question. You got it. You have got to create an interest earned chart showing the effects of bank interest earned over a 20 year period. So you want to have an interest earn chart. So I'm going to start you off on here. This is going to be the years mm -hmm. that you've invested. Yep. See how this says zero years? Yes. How could you make it so that goes all the way down to one, two, three, four, type it in all the way to 20 here. So years one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, without typing them. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that without mm. typing them. So do you know how to use Excel formulas? I never did this this sort of You did it in an accountant office. I know. did, but I didn't do okay. that. So first of all, what cell are we going to start with? We're going to start off with the cell below the one zero, right? Yeah, and we're going to do one. Oh, I, wait a sec. Then plus one plus two. It okay. equals it, that plus one. Yeah, great. Continue all the way that. to twenty. All so you drag it down and to twenty. Okay, Done. Fantastic. So now we've got our twenty years, and you didn't have to type them all out. Yep. Now let's have an initial value. How much money have you deposited in the bank? And let's see what happens to it over twenty years. So let's say ten thousand dollars. You put in ten thousand dollars into a bank. Yes. Now, okay. Now what is the interest rate? You will first. And does it change? It, no, or it will stay it the same the whole day. In this Otherwise one, it'll be too thing. complicated. Okay. Please. So, okay, that's 10000 but we want to change that to dollars, so we'll change it to dollars. Okay. Wow, you can do that? Usually what I do to and change, I'll go over here to format cells, and then I'll choose a currency, yeah. and then two decimal places or whatever you want and all yeah. that, and then I'll do it like no, that. Just but yeah, that's much easier. Well, I like that. What do you think that's there for? <laughs> is that there in the modern version of yeah, Excel? Yeah, it is. It, I've used it all the time. Okay, well I didn't know that. Well there we go, you learn something new every day. Even you're learning. <laughs> okay, so... You want to increase that. Let's go by like something you could get in Australia. Yeah. Uh, two percent interest per annum. Yep, two percent per annum. So it equals B two. Yep. yep, times okay. percent. Enter, 
And then Great. I drag it down so we can see it over all those years. There we go. Fantastic. So you'll end up with 14000 This is at an interest rate of um, 2%. Fantastic. So after and, But this years, is cumulative so that you're not taking, yeah, not taking withdrawing it out. It out. Like you, right now, you in a bank mm. account, you put that in. Oh, well, people should do it. Look, our best bank here is about 2.88. Yeah. yeah, you bank um, if you have it set up in a certain way. Mm. Okay, the last thing for Excel, I want you to use the chart wizard to make a visual representation of your data. So a chart. Of I've actually never used Use the chart wizard. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go to view. Now, where is the chart wizard? What do you think looks like a chart wizard? Maybe that. <laughs> yes. A chart wizard because it has charts and with the magic. magic. <laughs> it's actually wizard. a very good thing, yeah. It is actually. Um, because actually, yeah, you'll need to select your data again. So just select it again. Why? Just, just draw a little thing around it. All right, there we go. Done. Yep. Okay, next. And finish. Or you can click finish if you want, if you just want it to be quick. Oh, there you go. Wow. You've just made a little chart of your data. It's it did an extra year. No, it's, as you can see, the first year. I don't know what it's doing. It's well, how does it add an extra year? Well, we didn't add an extra year. <laughs> I don't know. I'm absolutely I right. I actually think it's the zero is actually, this is zero, this is one, this is two. Let's say you invested in something else that gave you, say, something crazy. You got a 15% return per annum. Mm -hmm. How would that change it? So that would be 115%. And boom, if you can find an investment with 15%, oh, wait, you got to drag it down. Oh, wait a sec. <laughs> I'm thinking, too, you'd only end up with 16 I was like, what? What? You'd end up with 163,000. Wow. So it just goes to show the That's type of investment good. that you get affects your initial capital. So you want yeah. to invest the right way so you have a lot of money when you get older. And that is Excel for you. Mm. Did that seem easy, logical, had all the features it's you funny. needed? It's funny. I've used Excel a lot of the time back when I was working for an accountant. Yep. And I use Excel also for, you know, just personal finances and that sort of stuff. Yep. But I've never used Chart Wizard. I love the chart. Well, I always, but the thing is, at the same time, with charts, there's so many different charts you can make. And it, mm. it's really, really effective. Especially when you've got data you can kind of play with there. And then you can see it on a chart instantly. You yeah. type into something and it changes. So there you go. That is Excel. And then you just think, wow, there's been so many more versions of Excel since this. What else? What other features do you need? Mm. This feels like it's packed with features. Anyway, that's it for Excel now. That's now, do you use PowerPoint? You've always used Word I've and Excel. I've only used PowerPoint probably about three or four times in my life. So okay. not often. There it is. Okay, the there we go. Look, all these new features, auto clip art, auto correct, black and white view. Yeah, lots un of things. Oh. Go. That's a Windows 10 feature. Oh, it doesn't click up. No, that's a Windows 10 feature. That auto, like the boom. Doesn't the win snap Windows up Windows 7 and Windows 10 do that. And Windows well, it should. So what do you do? You just have to make it big like this. You just press the maximize button. Oh. That you've, you've forgotten to use now because you haven't used it for so long. Just snap things up. Okay. What kind of presentation would you like to do? A blue diagonal presentation. <laughs> <laughs> have a little look at these. and Theatre? Oh, that's too fancy. Titiots. <laughs> what? Oh, Tri-Dots. Tri dots. Tri dots. Not Tidiots. very professional. You can't even read it. <laughs> Sidebar. I've got to admit, I think they it's improved awful. a lot. I'm okay, just going to do wet sand. Twinkle is just a small of sparkle. Let's just do wet sand. Oh, it's hard to see. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, so okay. it would be if you were in okay. wet sand. So, Okay, Click choose okay. the layout. You're going <coughs> to... Don't start yet. You okay. sound like you're being pulled under quicksand. I'm trying to tell you what it is. <laughs> Create a two-page PowerPoint presentation on how to fix every problem in the world. So it's only going to be two pages. This is the title page, then the next page is the content. This is the title. One word down gets me so annoyed. Just bother me. <laughs> By <laughs> me again. <laughs> me again. <laughs> You want to make a new slide now, like the next slide. How do you think you'd make a new slide? At the bottom it says this is slide one of one. How do you think you make a new slide? Slide like oh, new slide. Here we are. That's easy. And just accept the default one. We're not going to have any charts or anything in this. The steps. Steps. So how do you think you could fix every problem in the world? Well, remove all the people from it and there wouldn't be any problems because no. people cause the problems. Remove all the bad people. And how do you define a bad person? They do bad things. So what do you think that would fix? What part of the world would that fix? Well, there'd be no crime. Okay. To remove people doing bad things. <laughs> yeah. People are hungry. They're starving. What are you going to do about that? World hunger. <laughs> <laughs> food, food drop from the skies. Or, no. But who's going to put the food okay, in the sky? Okay, grow. Um, all the good people can then grow all the, all the, all there's only good people there left. <laughs> okay. Um, sickness. How are you going to get rid of disease and sickness? Can I just say this looks like it was written by a year one student in a school? <laughs> 
wording. <laughs> have a lot of money focused into medical research. Devote time. But aren't that we already doing that? Don't well, you obviously not of... enough because okay. people are getting sick. So devote sick. more time. Yeah, devote more, more time. More than what we currently got. Yeah, because we're fixing the world. More time and money. We've got to solve the problem of natural disasters. Earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes. Have a chat with God asking to ban natural disasters. Actually, this is the steps, and then you got the footprint right there, we, like taking the that. step. That is actually quite That's clever. Actually steps, really good. and there's a footprint. Yeah. Oh, that is I so clever. I picked the right thing. You sure did. So, can you add your slide transitions? A good way to do this is to first of all, do you think there's a way to view all the slides that you've worked on? Well, like a, a button you can click, and it shows all the slides you you know you currently got open. I would naturally assume it's up here, but I can't seem to find it slide two of two so somewhere down here maybe there might be a way to view more, view of, the more of the slide now, what's this for thing so that's all your slides but showing they're very once. small yeah i know but let's say you want to add a transition now the option to add a transition is on the screen no transition okay so that you do it so it dissolve I want to dissolve oh what about a transition for this one when this one comes on too uncover right up so there we go how to fix every problem in the world by me again. And then it goes to that. Yeah. They've just got a transition go. to it. Okay. Great. Now, the last thing you're going to do in this is apply the typewriter effect to a paragraph on a slide and apply in effect for a title. So just on this one here. Okay, so I'll go into that one. For and the, there's a typewriter. So, so I've, I've highlighted it. Now I go to typewriter. And now let's say here for that, what do you want? You want the uh, fly-in effect. Can you find that? What, what do you think would be the fly-in effect? What looks like that. a flying? Oh, yeah, that. that's it. That's it. Both you found it's flying. flying effect. Yeah, yeah that's like it. it. Okay, so if we now go and watch the slideshow. I should center the steps though. There. How to fix every problem in the world by me again. And then it comes here, go steps, remove all the bad people to remove people doing bad things. And have a chat with God asking him to ban natural disasters. There. And that's your slideshow. Now, do you feel that's a nice professional slideshow you could go and it show is. somebody? I mean, not the content, but the actual You feel layout. that was okay. You're now going on to our fourth program. It's Microsoft Access. So I'm going to, what is it? I've never heard Microsoft of Access. So this is um, also a part of Microsoft Office never and newest versions. So here we are. You're going to make a blank database. Microsoft Access, what do you think it's for? It's like an address book or, you know, having all your contacts or all lists of things yeah so it's basically a database maker and manager yeah so what you're going to do is you're going to actually make a prison database okay you're going to make a jail prisoner database now you're going to first create a table with five fields followed by a data sheet to fill out the prisoner details okay so first of all our fields we're going to be in our design view here now give me some fields so for example name is a field so, so you're going to get prisoners names so the name, whoops, yep. name, yeah. And that's text, that's correct. So the next field? Age. Um, and is age text? No, it's not, it's number. So we right. go into there and we select number. number. Okay. Oh, just age, no simpler. Age changes all the time, every year. So if you have this database <laughs> for the next two years, it's out of date. I know, but let's just keep it simple okay. and have it as a number for now. because yeah. Maybe this is for short-term prisoners that are only <laughs> for the one year. Okay. So, yep, sentence. And sentence is a number as well. Yep. Now, can you also have reasoned or crime committed? Crime. Yeah, crime. So what have they done? Crime and that's text. And yep. And finally, last one is bail. Oh, as in right. yes or How no. Much? Whether they have the option of bail or whether they don't have the option. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Okay, so bail. Bail. And let's just have that as a yes or no. But how do you do a yes or no? It's not going to be Well, text. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, that's why I wanted to use uh, the yes okay, or no. Ah, okay, Because I saw it. There we go. Okay, we'll have that. Now, I want you to switch to the data sheet view. You're in the design view now. How do you switch to the data? So it's like it almost looks like a switcher window where you kind of switch between different... Yeah, there we go. Data sheets. Okay, so the first one, name. No, 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 no. let me come, come up. <laughs> what has Donald Trump done? Well, first of all, what's his age? How old do you think he is? Okay, I think he's 58. Donald Trump is 71. 71. Oh, jeez, I okay. was really wrong. <laughs> anyway, sentence. Wow, that wasn't meant to be a compliment either. Okay. Well, is he even the, isn't he a bit old? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have age limits. Okay, um, sentence. sentence. Well, actually, How many years? they can only be one year. 80 years? He's going to be dead. And what did he do to deserve being in jail for 80 years? Stole a packet <laughs> of 
Chip from Target. Yeah. So if you saw our other video where we pranked a scammer, <laughs> pranked scammer. this will make sense to you. Okay, so he stole a packet of chips from and Target. And there's no bail. And so we no don't bail. Tip okay. You. That's it. <laughs> okay, no, next person. one. Why? Jeez, I'm oh, not no. 240. <laughs> I hope not. Oh wait. His sentence is delete. Is delete. Um, no. Good, thanks for deleting it. He's two years. And what did I do? Oh no, gave Donald Trump the idea of stealing a packet of chips <laughs> but you have bail and I'll be coming and bailing you out okay so some other people let's just have five people in the prison okay what's he done <laughs> he's gonna keep an eye on you to make sure you're okay <laughs> but that's but, but what what's really the crime <laughs> really a crime it's actually very good he watched Donald Trump doing that now Trump and he gets bailed too not that I'll bail him so it's a crime might. to watch yeah it is crime to watch and not do something about okay. it okay remember when we had that episode you were building in Google SketchUp and oh it's first time a mental institution and I accidentally said someone tried to break into the mental I'll break institution. into it yeah that's right <laughs> what about we have someone who's breaking into it okay um, so Donald Trump will have company for two years but then he'll be alone for 78 years so who who Who's a crazy person? What about just Bill Gates or something? Bill Gates, really? Bill, I don't know. I can't. He's the only person I can think of. <laughs> Out of a world full of people. Uh, Wait a second. Is this because we removed all the bad people in the world and there's no one left now? Who to pie? There we go. He okay. tried to break into the OS first time in mental Who die pie? Is that how you spell his That's name? That's how you spell it. With goes. the name like that, he doesn't get bail. How old is Bill Gates? I don't know. He's probably like... He's 60, really old. 65 or something. Oh, I think he's about 70 something. Bill Gates is 62. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought Donald Trump oh, was no. younger and... He's okay. sentenced... Oh, he can have a big long one as well. Wait a second. Let's make it 50 years. Okay. Bill Gates has a big long one and what was the crime that he did? What did he do though? I don't know. He didn't do anything. No, no, no. Bill Gates, what is he famous for again? Don't you know he made what you're using? Well, that's a crime. <laughs> <laughs> made windows. Is it? Made windows? No, no, no. <laughs> made windows to the mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> windows for the allowing poo to pie no, to break into no. the <laughs> Just, he made windows for the institution. <laughs> so there we go. That is your little database. Yeah. Now, the good thing about this is, let's say you wanted to organise your data. It's, it works a lot better when you have a bigger database. Mm -hmm. But let's say you're like, oh, I want to organise it like based alphabetical on... alphabetical order or this or that. Let's say by let's, the age. Let, no, let's say by the sentence. Okay. okay? How do you think you organise it by that? Ascending, but... But how do you activate it for the sentence? You want the sentence. How do you make the sentence? Oh yeah, no. There it you did go, it. two, two. Let's say you want to do it by age. Have it go with another one. There we yeah. go. So I'm the youngest. Donald Trump's the oldest. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. So that's a way you can really, you know, quickly by age, by this, by that. Mm. Now another thing. An you alphabetical do, order. You go there. No. <laughs> what? What's that doing? You just do A, a to Z. See? Okay. There we go. Anyway, what we're going to do I now... I it was just A, B, C, because you'd assume that's alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to show you one more thing you can do here. You can also design a form. Now, is there an auto form with your object? Okay, auto form. And yes, we want to save that. So a form. Now, this is a very ugly form. Form design. So in this form design here, you can actually make it. So let's say you have name here. Then up here, we can have the age next to the name. You can also, we're not going to go into this severely or anything, but you can change the like size of the words and everything to make it look quite nice. Mm -hmm. When you first make a database and you first set it up, there's a lot of stuff to do, but once you've got a database, you know, it's so easy, it can hold people's addresses in it yeah. and all this stuff. Okay, so here we go, and there's your little thing, and then you can display and you can switch between records. You can go, oh yes, this record, this record, you know, this is what yep. the person's been doing, they stole a packet, and you can go through it, do they have bail, do they not? and then you might want to change information, you might go, yeah, I might let him have bail, you know, mm -hmm. and you, you might change it so it becomes like a little database on the screen obviously much you wouldn't than change his crime yeah unless he committed another crime <laughs> yeah. while it was in there well add some stuff to it you know um you can add a new number see and then you can type in a new person and you know mm. da, 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 like that and you can go on like that so that's how this program oh, yeah. works you can do queries and stuff find all the people with the p in their name do all this crazy stuff Swigasa. yeah yeah. <laughs> what a name. Yes. Having a weird name. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what cool. they get. They get for having a weird name. They're five years old and they're in it for life. Uh, multiple lifetimes. 
but they can get bailed for a dollar. Now, that's that's basically the idea of Microsoft Access. It's a lot more involved than this, but what do you think of it? Yeah, actually, no, it would be it's a, a good program. way of organising um, data. Yeah, ex yeah, especially when you go to photo and you can flick between and see a photo, like yeah. maybe a car database, a, a person database, a school database. Is yeah. This is a very common program no, This is definitely something useful, yes. Exactly. Now, some things that have been discontinued... This bar, by the way, is the office, like it's a special office toolbar. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to show you what a binder is. So binder is a special program that has been discontinued now. But what it was is it's a bunch of files of different formats in a single file. So you give someone binder file, almost like a little binder book. Mm -hmm. You give it to somebody and then they can flick through. They've got, you know, a cover letter. They've got a quote in here. The quote, of course, being from Excel. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a slideshow in here in the same file. So see at the side, you've yeah. got all this stuff and it's all binded together and they're all different documents. So one's this, one's that, one's this. Get get it, and it kind of yeah. flips between like that. Do you think that's a pretty useful thing to have? Yeah, it is very you useful. You know, cover letter, all of that in the one thing. Binder. But that was discontinued. After Office 2000, they no longer have it anymore. It just but why? It just wasn't People popular enough. Okay. People, you know, binding things like that. When do you think you'd do, use that? I you wouldn't. wouldn't? There we go. It sounds useful, but no one really used it. Another thing that was included was Microsoft Schedule. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft Schedule is no longer included anymore because it was discontinued and integrated their iPhones. Yeah, I know, but it was integrated into, um, what do you call Or their phones. I'm, I'm saying iPhones. <laughs> yeah. I mean their phones. It was discontinued. Android, I think features. it was 1997 or yeah. something like that. They discontinued and made it a part of Outlook, you know, their email mm -hmm. program. So here you can, you know, you can book things and stuff like that. You can say, oh, new appointment. It's from 8 to 8.30 and I've got a break into Target or something like that. So you do that and where is it going to be? Well, it's obviously going to be at Target. <laughs> And I'm no. going to set a reminder Big 15 w. minutes beforehand so I can get ready to do it. And then that will work and you, let's just break into Target. I don't think I actually did it properly, but break into Target and it will remind you. So you're at your computer sitting down, break into Target. Bing, 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 bing. You get it? That's what mm -hmm. this program is. It's also like a calendar. Mm -hmm. That's no longer around anymore. And the last thing that was a part of Office that is also no longer around is Bookshelf 95. So this program is basically a reference collection introduced originally in 1987 as part of Microsoft's extensive work in promoting the CD-ROM technology as a distribution medium for electronic publishing. Mm -hmm. But that's not really what you use it for. It's basically, it's got a dictionary in it, so you can look up words such it as... It had a book of nonsense angry, too, and I'm know? thinking... <laughs> there yeah. we go, so you've got a dictionary, you've got one of these things that yeah. I can never pronounce properly. Quotation, so let's say you, you wanted a quotation from this person here or that person there, there's quotation. George Bush, that doesn't look like George Bush, uh, and Richard. <laughs> Poor George, you can't I'm help thinking, it. gosh, George Bush, does he really look like that? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, you know, quotations, an encyclopedia, you know, looking up things like, for yep. example, what is granite? If I can spell granite. Yeah, okay. there's granite. See, it's a coarse grain rock. See, so this is a little... But think back then, internet wasn't as common. Yeah. You didn't have yeah. Google search and stuff. So this was useful back then, but no longer really yeah. that useful now, at least. you got a bunch of things I can here. understand why this is discontinued. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's no, no point. But the idea of it was Microsoft wanted to show you look all this information all these books on one CD-ROM you don't wow. need floppy disks you know it was quite a lot of stuff yeah. so anyway what do you think of Office 95 could you use it on a daily basis oh, to yeah, do the I things could. you need I could because what I do is pretty simple in relation to you know Office stuff so do you feel that Office 2013 is an improvement over this or you know the newer versions of Office or do you feel that they I'm can more, pretty much do everything I'm more used to the layout and the look of the modern Office only because it's more familiar to me. You've been using it, so you've got. I've been using it. Do you think it, it looks prettier? Yeah. I think it does because this does look a little bit older. Yeah. Okay. So, but okay. it it still has quite a few features for its time. Um, a modern Excel spreadsheet, and that just shows you know how Excel kind of looks now. Everything was a square box, so things have changed a bit since then. But overall, I don't feel you need to upgrade, apart from compatibility purposes. Yeah. For example, you know, if you're going to send someone a 95 version of some document, you're not going to be up to date. But overall, do you feel you could pretty much just stuck you with 95? You, you wouldn't really need to upgrade. You you wouldn't need to, but um, mainly for compatibility. Yeah. So exactly. you feel overall, there's nothing really new they could add to Office. Well, not with the 2013 one that I've got. I just feel that that has everything in it that I need. And if I was upgrading to a future one after 2013, like 2019 coming out in a few months, it would only be if it had additional features that I would use but and I can't I, think of anything additional 
that I need. Me either. I mean, so. could you tell me one feature that you don't have that you would want? No, I can't because it, at the <laughs> moment it just has everything I need. Okay. So, yeah. Do you know what feature I'd like for Microsoft Word? What? Visualization feature. So, you type a, a story and it will make a movie out of your story. See, you can think of things yeah, but it's like but as if that would ever happen. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's like fairy tale land. Create a movie you. out of my document, you know what I mean? Wow. But, but yeah. lots of people be sitting there for entertainment. I mean, <laughs> you'd sit there all day. You, you'd be that'd be an easy YouTube job. Make a prank video of people throwing eggs. Actors at would be out of feet, their jobs. You know? And, you know, filmmakers and that that'd be all out of work. People would just be sitting there typing up stories and there's movies. Anyway, so in other words, apart from crazy things that we don't ever really need, mm. it doesn't feel like any future versions of Office will ever really be something that would really want to upgrade for for no. any other purpose. But just compatibility. Un unneeded, yeah. Just yeah. compatibility. That's Even it. though they come out every three years, there's nothing there. No. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.